Well, hello there. I'm off work, the sun is shining, and I'm addicted to flying paramotors. Daylight savings time fan right here. Good stuff, man, good stuff. See y'all there. Scratch that, didn't fly. Fast forward to the next day. Here I am out in the shop. I promised you way back a propeller repair and balance video. I'm not gonna repair one, but I am gonna balance one. Most of the time at the factory, I say most of the time, supposedly all of the time at the factory, they're supposed to match up the halves so that they're balanced. So I've got two props that took a prop tip, but the other half was still good. So I'm gonna take the two halves that are good. I put them together. I got these five bullets here and I'm gonna take these bullets and melt them down and pour up a little patty and we're gonna figure out just where to put that patty. I'm gonna drill it out, epoxy it in and hopefully in the end we're gonna have a balanced propeller. Join me for this ride. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna melt down a whole bunch of bullets and make a whole bunch of these uh, lead patties for uh, future propeller repair operations or future propeller balancing operations. You know it's gonna come up, so I'm gonna go ahead and get some on standby. That way it won't take as long. Since I've got all the equipment laying out, I'll go ahead and uh, fix up a large batch of these things, four or five of them anyway. I just grabbed a handful of these old bullets. I'm not gonna shoot these nasty lead. They're lead covered in wax. People that shoot a lot of rounds a year have to be very cognizant of lead poisoning because you're breathing that dust and that smoke that's coming out of those guns. And at uh, one point, I was shooting around 20,000 rounds a year. So that starts to add up. I know some uh, old professional shooters that have lead poisoning uh, from this, which is not the most terrible thing for an adult, but it does to decrease your learning capacity and learning is something that I like to do. I make sure I'm well ventilated and uh, not breathing too much of the toxic gas. That's that, let's get to it. prop balancer y'all i've got these pieces here this is a uh, this is just an old bolt i center drilled it and made it just big enough for the string to come through and then i made the inner piece here threaded it and the reason i did it this way is uh so you can adjust your fulcrum on the prop and i'll demonstrate what that means here in just a second this is the other portion here this is where it hangs so you put this through your hub of your prop and you hang it on here. It's perfectly balanced as it sits. So when you get your get your propeller on there, you just get it so that everything sits level. And if it sits level, it's balanced. Also made a sleeve. This is for like the fresh breeze, the three quarter inch prop hub. And then I made a sleeve that basically transfers it over to a one inch for like a Viterazzi uh, 185. So you put that on there and you can balance the Viterazzi propellers. But what I was showing you about the fulcrum, let me demonstrate that. So we've got two of the same propellers here, but they came off of different machines. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna put those together, run the string through the hoop here. Now I've got it set very, very low intentionally. First off, you wanna get a rough idea about the balance. Clearly this side's heavier, so we're gonna have to add weight to this side. But also, see how it teeter-totters? It goes this way, it flips, goes this way, it flips. And I had it set really really low on purpose just to demonstrate that but we're going to scoot it up to where it needs to be for this particular propeller and i believe this should be about right too much and it and it just hangs but you want to find that that balance point now i cast several of these little patties here i've got them ranging from from thin to thick i haven't weighed them yet a little way but we're just going to eyeball we're just going to grab this one and we're going to set it here and see what happens see that's too much so we're going to grab a smaller one here and we're going to set it and see what happens that actually balances is it pretty close we're going to scoot it out just a little sometimes i got to use a piece of duct tape to hold them in place I'll take a little pinch of this gorilla tape double it over put it on the back of this weight here and that'll keep it from falling and that's going to give us our exact balance point See, that's too much, so we'll come in. And this weight may be too heavy. It looks like I'm still teeter-tottering, so I'm gonna back this thread out just a little more. We're gonna go with this smaller weight. Let's 
getting really, really close to balance in there. I'm checking the lateral balance now. Now, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but it's favoring this propeller very slightly because I actually have to drill a hole and I'm going to be removing some material there and then I'm going to be adding some epoxy. But in, in past experiences, what's happened is I ended up lighter on this side and had to go back and add weight via tape or some, some little minute adjustment to fine tune balance it. But this is real close. Now I know where I'm going to drill the hole, so I'm going to mark that now. That's where I'm going to drill the hole. I need to measure it and make sure that I have enough room to put this one here. My dial caliper, and I've got uh, 0.345 thickness on this. And then I'm gonna make sure that I have enough room. See, that's almost an inch thick right there. You know, I bought this thing years ago. I think this is the first time I've actually used it in real life. Yay me. You see just how thick it is right here. Okay, so we're looking at about 0.583. On the skinny side of the hole here, we're 0.583. And over here, we're close to an inch. That tells me that we've got plenty of room for this thing to fit without punching through the other side of the propeller. Uh, which is important not to do. So we don't want to go past that. So let's give ourselves, oh, 50 thou of clearance and see where we're at on the bit. And I'm just going to take a visual reference here. That'll leave me a safe margin. You don't want to breathe that stuff. It's terrible for you. All right, so let's see if our little patty fits in there with plenty of clearance. Just right. Just enough that I can cover the top of it with epoxy and still sand it down. And we didn't penetrate the backside, so we're still slick there. And this should balance it up pretty good here. I'm excited. And let's see what we're looking at here. Just as I predicted, we removed a little carbon fiber and foam. And I just wanted to show you something on the inside of these propellers. If you look inside of here, there's a structural rib that runs down there. I try to get my patty to sit somewhere on top of that little rib right there just for some lateral structural reinforcement when this thing spins up. You really don't want just foam holding it. You really want a piece of that rib holding the side of that patty so it doesn't try to work its way down the propeller. That's perfectly acceptable right there. There's nowhere that it's going to go. I'm happy with this right here. When I add the epoxy in there and fill in this foam and push that patty in there and fill it up, the balance should come out very, very close. We'll see at the conclusion of this video just how it worked out. feels hard. I got the shop set up with a couple of big belt grinders. Now, if you're going to do this yourself, you really want to be careful right here. You can, you can see where I actually touched the edge of the propeller off the off to the side there. But uh, I take the, the real aggressive belt and just sort of touch it. And then I switch over to a finer one. And I take that finer one. That's like it has a 220 grit. And I uh, just, I sand a little, and then I feel it, and then I sand a little, and then I feel it. And I know that's what she said, but it's a, uh, it's just a slow, slow, tedious process doing these, uh, this, uh, especially, especially power sanding. You just want to be really gentle with it. And then uh, I, I finish it out with a little fine grit paper, just hand sand, and uh, just to slick it up a bit. I'm not going for uh, any award winning here. I just want it to be smooth and sanded and cleaned off and after the sanding is all done we're going to clean it up dry it off put it together and throw it back on the rig and see where the balance actually came out now, i knew it would be close but let's see what we're looking at oh man it's just about perfect i'm real pleased with this um slightly slightly tilted to the side 
just a just a couple pieces of tape should get that just right. right so that's how i do propeller balancing it's got a little visual deficit on it i could polish that thing down and sand it so fine that it's a mirror finish and i'm not worried about that i'm more of a function over form guy it's gonna hold up i mean the first time you fly it through a swarm of mosquitoes you're gonna have more perturbations on that propeller than that little bit of 400 grit sanding is going to leave behind it's for a paramotor it's it's not for a show car or whatever i've done high polish before it's just a lot of extra work and i don't see any benefit over it so i just choose to leave mine 400 sometimes i'll go a 600 grit finish in this case i'm going to leave it just like it is because it's balanced i don't want to take any more off than what's on there you can see it's swaying because i opened the door to let some light in for the video i just happened to notice uh looking at my channel the other day one of the kids told me like dad you've almost got you know, 3,800 viewers. And I looked and it was closer to 4,000. Coming up on 4,000 subscribers. That, that kind of trips me out, y'all. I had no idea that this channel would grow this much. Thanks for the love, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, and believe it or not, I'm actually not that smart when it comes to YouTube things. Like, I don't know if a thumbs up gets you like some special thing. I don't know. <laughs> They, they send me a little bit of money every now and then. Like when I get $100, they'll send me $100. That's kind of neat. I think I'll probably put in way more than I'll ever get back out of the channel. But I really enjoy sharing it. I really like making these videos. And I'm doing it for, the, for you guys, the subscribers. So, you know, if you're not subscribed, you know, knock that number up. It would be interesting to see 4,000. I don't know what that feels like. I didn't know what 400 felt like. I remember when that happened. I was just flabbergasted that... uh. There are 400 people in the world that enjoyed these videos. So now it's close to 4,000. I guess y'all enjoy them. I don't know. I, I like making them. With all that said, I'm going to leave y'all with that. Thanks for the love. Much love from me. Like, share, subscribe. Kyle out. <laughs>